Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up a local Podman registry. The plan today is to outline the steps required to create a simple local Podman registry and then pull and store an image to it and then finally retrieve the image from it again. The steps outlined here do not include making the registry secure. That will be covered in a future video. Therefore, they are not recommended for use in a production scenario, especially if this is exposed to the internet. It may, however, be suitable in certain internally focused scenarios, for example, in an air-gapped deployment. So without further ado, let's get started by briefly outlining the terminology in order to ensure the difference between a registry, repository and tag is understood. This is really important to understand so as to avoid confusion moving forwards. A registry is usually cloud-based, is a central location for local or third-party hosting and distributing of different container images. A repository is a collection of similar images. Often these are different versions of the same application or service image. A tag is an alphanumeric identifier associated with an image hosted within a repository whose purpose it is to differentiate between those images. Hopefully this understanding will be helpful when we continue on and create and use a local registry. The first step is to deploy a local registry using this command. podman space run space dash d space dash p space 5000 colon 5000 space dash dash restart equals always space dash dash name space registry space registry colon 2. Let's check that this has actually created the registry by listing the open podman processes. podman space ps. So now we should have a local registry up and running. All that's left for us to do is to test it, which will be accomplished by pulling a minimal Oracle Linux image from the Oracle registry, tagging it locally, then pushing it to our local registry. So first up, pull the Oracle Linux image with this command podman space pull space oracle linux colon 8 dash slim. Once that has completed, the retrieved image needs a new tag so that it can be pushed to the local registry. So let's tag the image using this command podman space tag space oracle linux colon 8 dash slim space localhost colon 5000 forward slash my dash Oracle 8 slim. Notice that this command has changed the reference from its original source, Oracle Linux colon 8 dash slim, to its new destination, localhost colon 5000 forward slash my dash Oracle 8 slim. This is the purpose of the tag command. If this step is missed, then any subsequent push command would attempt to push it to its original location in the Oracle registry and most likely fail due to lack of permissions. So now the image has been retrieved and tagged successfully. It can be pushed to the local registry using this command podman space push space dash dash tls dash verify equals false space localhost colon 5000 forward slash my dash oracle 8 slim. To verify that the push is completed successfully, type podman space images. It should be possible to see the Oracle image listed. Next, we're going to verify that we can retrieve or pull the locally stored image that we have just downloaded and pushed into our new registry. First up, we'll delete the image that was pulled initially. This will ensure the pull operation really has worked. Podman space RMI space localhost colon 5000 forward slash my dash Oracle 8 slim. Confirm that nothing is stored locally like so. Podman space images. So now we've confirmed that nothing is stored locally, it's okay to proceed and pull the image from our local registry, like so. Podman space pull space dash dash TLS dash verify equals false space localhost colon 5000 forward slash my dash Oracle 8 slim. Confirm that it has actually been downloaded by listing the locally stored images using this command podman space images. If you now want to remove the registry, please follow these steps to stop and then remove the local registry. First, it needs to be stopped using this command podman space container space stop space registry. Next, this command will remove it from your system. 
Podman, space container, space RM, space dash V, space registry. Next, delete both the registry and Oracle Lex images from the local Podman using these commands. Podman, space RMI, space registry, colon two. Podman, space RMI, space localhost, colon five zero 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 forward slash my dash Oracle eight slim, colon latest. All that's left to do is to confirm that there are no locally held container images using this command, podman space images. Then last but not least, confirm there are no more running podman containers using this command, podman space ps. I hope this has demonstrated how easy it is to set up and use a simple private local registry, then pull, tag and push that image to a new registry. For now though, many thanks for watching and for additional information on Oracle Podman, please access the Oracle Linux documentation or Oracle Linux Learning Library.